Good morning. It is 2.56 in the morning, and we're going diving today. Just, uh... Gonna make my bulletproof coffee, and we'll be good to go. How are you feeling about about this morning? Uh, I feel like today is gonna be a pretty good day. We'll probably see a few, at least a few owners here, and um, maybe visit the Kamanu. Just yeah, just check them Sit out. Sit down for some tea. Yeah, talk story. Talk here story. And there. For sure. <laughs>
All right, take three. <laughs> <laughs> Got back from the dive yesterday, and today we are vacuum sealing uh, some of the mahi-mahi that I speared. Before we get into that, I just wanted to run something by y'all really quick. I just thought it was kind of interesting thinking about the different ways that people in Hawaii and Alaska take care of their game or their fish. Here in Hawaii, I've noticed that it's sort of frowned upon to freeze your fish or meat for like a long time, which makes sense because here the season lasts year round for most species, not everything, but pretty much you have access to game or fish year round. Whereas in Alaska with the seasons and just uh, how drastic the weather can be, you need to store up on your food for a longer period of time. I would remember we'd stock up on deer meat in like November and October, and you'd plan in your mind to have that meat until the next deer season in August. So just different ways of dealing with your catch. And I don't think one way is really right or wrong, but um, yeah, just let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you try to eat all of your fish right away or do you like to save it to have it for later? Let me know. Jade brings up another good point. If you're wondering why I leave the skin on before I am vacuum sealing it is because yeah. <laughs> having the skin on top of it prevents your meat from the effects that a freezer tend to do to it, just the discoloration. I don't think it changes the flavor, but So we're out here at this pretty cool spot and we are gonna have a little barbecue. Got it flaming up right now and gonna cook some of the, the collars from the mahi-mahi. And I haven't barbecued too much fish before, but we'll see He's how it goes. Great. I'm gonna do great. <laughs> He's gonna do great. Cheers to whales. Cheers to whales. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> <laughs> you saw some of them out there. It started to rain a little bit, so we came inside this little pavilion. It's perfect. And it's perfect. And the uh, coals are starting to burn down. We'll get it going here. Yeah. We just put some salt and pepper on it. A little bit of garlic. And then some olive oil. And this is like a little paste to put on like afterwards with lime and olive oil and some garlic in there too. Ho, ho, ho. Looking pretty good. Little 
Fabrewski. <laughs> okay, is this stuff still warm at all? You know what? I'm gonna heat this up maybe like just for a second, see if it can get it a little bit warm. That's just a sauce. But... So let's just admire this. Oh, let's just admire it. It looks great. It does look I'm gonna try this. Try it, do it, do let's it, do it, do it. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck yeah, bud. <laughs> Just to be safe. Mm. Olive oil and some lime and garlic. Boom. Little test with the zucchini, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> what do you think? Okay. What's the verdict? It's so good. Yeah? Yeah. Let me try a little bit here. Let's see. No, I'm gonna try some of this, some of this fish. Oh yeah, yum. What is it, is it cooked? Yeah, it's beautiful. Cooked to perfection? Voila. Yeah? Super dang. That'll play? Super good, it'll still play. <laughs> <laughs> you can't escape it. <laughs> Thank Thanks you for, for watching watch. this episode of Balanced Life. Like. Please like and subscribe and if you enjoyed subscribe. the video. Um, if you want to see more content like this, got some great things great planned things for you guys. In store. And so, smash yeah, thank you. <laughs> smash the subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> and um, thank you for all thank your support. You. I really appreciate it, and I've enjoyed doing this. So, thank you, and good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs>